Hi everybody, it's Brian with Level Up Reptiles, and today we're going to cover heat. Heat is something that is crucial to the ball python, and if it's too cool, you're going to have a hard time getting them to eat. If it's too hot, they the potential for them to get burned. Um, there really is a sweet spot for a hot and a cool side. Uh, if you manage the hot side, the cool side will kind of take care of itself. So if you put your uh, your heating on one side and the other side, more times than not, is about the right temperature. Uh, you want your ambient to be somewhere around 80, 82 degrees across the tank. Uh, that ambient will is will be your cool side for the most part. I mean, it may drop from the whole other side of the tank from where the heat is. Uh, if it gets down to about 75, that's probably fine. That's probably about my limit is if it gets down to 75 on one side. Uh, your hot side should be anywhere from, I'd say, 86 as the bare minimum to about 90, 91. Uh, in the rack, I keep everything. The hot spot is right around 90, and my ambient in there is about 82. So the cool side is about 81, 82 degrees in the rack. And I like doing that in the PVC closures I've had in the past. Um, this is just going to take a look at the different kind of heating you can use. I'm not going to go into, you know, thermostats a whole lot, but every heating element that I show you guys that you can use for different things, each heating does have a different purpose. Uh, but you do want to make sure they are hooked up to a thermostat. Preferably not at one of the, the cheap, cheap ones you see for $15 on Amazon. I, you, you buy you buy an animal you want the best health you can for it if you i mean it's just part of it i mean you could probably get a reasonable decent thermostat for maybe around 80 bucks uh, but they do they do get pricey um so uh without further ado let's take a look at uh this heat now is that that alone probably ain't enough to get a full your ambient temperature up unless you're you just keep your room warm i'd say if you keep your room lower than 75 that's this isn't going to be enough to heat your tank and in that case make sure and also make sure these are hooked up to a thermostat you need these on thermostats they'll get hot if you don't and next up is a heat emitter this can be coupled with a heat mat. You can uh, put this above the hot spot. So you can set your heat mat to 89, 90 degrees and set this at 80, I don't know, I'd set it probably around 85, 82. Uh, that'll get your, uh, your ambient temperature probably about right. Once again, you'll want these on a thermostat as well. Uh, there's some thermostats that come with two probes, so you can put one on the heat mat and then another one for this heat emitter. And then that should get your hot and cool side uh, pretty close. And then uh, once again, these are for like a glass aquarium. Also with the glass aquariums, I'm not gonna get into it too much, but if you got, do use a glass aquarium, you know, block out the sides, block out the back, block out the sides. Uh, really, the less the ball python can, python can see out, the less stress it's going to be. Uh, next, the what I think is probably the, the best heating for the best you know enclosure if you're not using a rack is a heat panel. Now these heat panels are mainly for PVC uh, enclosures. PVC enclosures are, are great for holding in humidity. That's what I use or did use before I went to the racks. I do plan on using PVC enclosures for a few uh, ball pythons at some point again. And this here will uh, set it up to a thermostat just like any other thing that's going to heat and uh, put it above uh, your hot spot and at around 90 degrees and it, it really does it works great uh, now for the the racks all your racks if you build them yourself which i've done or you buy it by from ars or freedom breeder or whoever they're going to be on heat tape 
or most of like ARS put some on heat panels, but underneath the panel is this heat tape. You can get this from Reptile Basics. You can get it from, uh, yeah, there's other, other places. I think ARS sells it, maybe, don't quote me on that, but I think they do. But this will go on the back of your rack and this is what your, your tubs will sit on. If you make, uh, I've made PVC uh, rack before, same thing, I, I use this. I cut out a notch wide enough for the heat tape and uh, recess it in there. Uh, and it works, it works pretty well. It's just uh, in my case, or probably everybody's case, uh, PVC panels went up so much <laughs> in price that it's it, it doesn't make sense to build one, especially for me. I mean, I live about an hour away from the ARS facility, so I don't have to pay shipping or any of that. Uh, I can just go pick it up because I'm lucky enough for it to be basically right down the road. Um, but that's it for uh, the the heating and the things that I would personally use to, to heat an enclosure. All right, guys, I hope you liked this video. I hope you learned something. If you did, please like and subscribe. My next video will be over humidity, and that kind of blends in with uh, the heat. Uh, and I'll get into that in the next video. If you have any comments, questions, don't forget to just, just comment. I'll answer them. Till next time, I'm Brian with Level Up Reptiles. What level are you on?